Hi everybody, we're here with Fred today to do another mindfulness activity. Now, this activity is all about our senses. We're not going to be using all of them, but we are going to talk about how Fred uses his senses. Now Fred, as you can see, is having a bit of a sniff around his pen to see what he can smell. He uses his sense of smell really well, particularly if he's looking for food. That brings us on to sense of taste. Fred loves eating everything. I don't think there's anything that Fred doesn't like to try if it's a vegetable or a fruit, and he uses his tongue to taste all of those different things. Fred's got really long ears, which make him very good at hearing things. You can hear me chatting now. That's why he's come over to investigate what I'm up to. Fred has a really good sense of touch as well. You can probably see he's rubbing his face on the grass. That means he's marking it as belonging to him and he's using his sense of touch to rub his face against the grass. He's also really good at using his sense of touch for digging things. The last sense that Fred uses is his sense of sight. Maybe it's all the carrots he eats, but he's really good at seeing things. You can often spot things when I'm bringing them out from the house for him. Now, as I said, we're not going to use all of our senses for this mindfulness activity today, and you'll see why in just a moment, because we are going to be using buttons to explore our different senses. And we definitely do not want to taste what a button tastes like. So please do not put any buttons in your mouth. You can, however, feel the buttons. They feel nice to touch. Some of them are smooth, like this one. Some of them are rough, like this one. And they feel different in your hand. You can smell them. Hmm, they don't really smell of much, just a plasticky smell. But if you sprayed some lavender on them, or some other essential oils that your parents might let you use, you could perhaps smell the buttons too. You can look at them. There's so many different colours in this pot of buttons to look at. There's a mustard colour and a turquoise, pink, see-through. What kind of buttons do you have that you could sort through? You can also hear buttons. You might have already heard them. Just look at the noise they make when they fall on each other. They make a really good sound. Now, you can explore your senses with buttons like I have, or you could perhaps explore your senses with some different objects. Maybe you could use stones or gemstones, or even flower petals. Make sure though that you do this activity with a grown-up and I'm going to leave Fred to it now to use all of his sensors in our garden. So let's say goodbye to Fred. Have fun exploring your senses mindfully and let me know how you get on. See you later everybody. Bye for now.